Let's take a look at a Carol program that has a few bugs in it, and we'll use the error messages that come up to debug it, fix the errors, and have a functional program. The goal of this program is to have Carol move to the wall, climb up the wall, grab the tennis ball, and then climb back down the wall. So when I run this program, we see that already we get an error, and it says error line four, and it has this weird unexpected semicolon. So if I go to line four, I can see that I'm missing one of the parentheses. And so that's why it has the semicolon early. So let's add this closing parenthesis and run the program again. Okay, we get an uncaught syntax error. So now it says unexpected token else. I can see the yellow error indications. And if I look at the else line here, I notice that there's no closing bracket from the if statement above it. So let's go ahead and add that closing bracket. And now when I run this, okay, so that fixed that error, but now we say uncaught reference error, move is not defined. Okay, so there's an extra O it looks like. And so it's trying to basically call a function called move but there is none. So it results in an uh, uncaught reference error. So I'll delete that extra O. And now let's run this again. Okay, so Carol starts moving, climbs the wall. Everything is looking good. And let's speed this up. All right, perfect. So you can see how the error messages can be very useful when debugging a program, especially when you're looking for small syntax errors or typos that might be otherwise hard to find.